One million people have died of this disease around the world. Have already come up in India in the last 24 hours. 85,362 new cases have been reported. The virus has spread to at least 188 countries, and fatalities have been rising through most of August and September. After weeks of gradual decline, many countries are seeing a resurgence in coronavirus cases, including here in Europe. Experts say that the crisis is far from over. I can't exactly remember the exact moment I heard COVID-19. I was supposed to take a trip with my son to France. When more news is like, we would be fine. And then it just seems to explode. Initially, we thought we might need 10 to 12 beds. And then as we started getting into the COVID ICU, it became apparent that we all gonna have to stretch. These patients have to come in here and they are super sick. So you have to put yourself in their shoes to feel what they feel. I think on day two of my first week when I was working at COVID ICU, I just knew that this is going to get a lot bigger and it can get really scary here. So I called my son that night and my son was on flight 6 a.m. the next morning. I usually work seven nights in a row. The day before I had to take a long nap to make sure I can mentally switch and function appropriately and then you can get to your 12 hour shift. You are trying your best, all the little tricks that you know that have worked on patients, those have really sick lungs in their past, but these tricks are not working and people are getting sicker. Whenever you put a breathing tube into somebody for the first time, you risk having droplets come out. There is definitely a risk. You do it. You hold people's hands, you sit there with them, talk about something that has nothing to do with COVID-19. You just ask them about them. So I get to know them, their families, because they can't talk to their family. You are that bridge and all you can do is to make sure that this person can go home. If you are already at the max level of support that you can give and their oxygen level are dropping, then there is really not much you can do except just let the family know. Can you imagine holding up an iPad to somebody who is really sick and hearing the family tell them goodbye? Absolutely heartbreaking. Tears are coming down your face. You are human. It's not fair. We have a co-worker very young. Don't know she got exposed at work. But she started feeling sick and she took herself off the schedule and was at home. Like lot of people do who test positive. But it just came to a point when she couldn't do that. She was with us for nine days on that breathing machine. I think we were all standing outside the room when we knew that we are going to take that breathing tube out. And we were so scared. We all hold our breath. She had that tube out and she was fine. We finally won one. We did not let COVID win. We won. Until we get a vaccine, there is no way that this can be part of everyday life. We're going to adapt to, we are going to learn from it, we are going to grow from it. I have never been so tired when I get home. I am physically, mentally exhausted. I feared getting sick. It's a possibility. This disease could take any one of us at any time and I would be a fool to think that I was immune. I knew what I was getting into and I choose it.